their state. It seems to be like these 27 individual primaries, each congressional district serves as sort of a micro primary. Is Trump a uh, political machine now ready and able to kind of fight these individual battles? Or are we going to see what has happened in some of these other states where Ted Cruz's organization in places like Arizona has bested Trump? Well, I think, Leland, the best comparison is to South Carolina, which was by congressional district with extra uh, delegates for the overall. So really, South Carolina, where Trump carried 100 percent of the delegates, is the same basic situation as New York. We have 27 congressional districts spread from Long Island to the district I represent on Lake Erie, which is New York 27. And Trump is uh, with solid support of the local committees, the 27 local GOP committees. He's been officially endorsed by over half the committee chairman. Out here in Erie County, the largest upstate county, the full committee also endorsed Donald. So the ground troops that are out, uh, that are going to be turning the vote out, are the committee men and the committee women of all of these uh, 62 different counties throughout western New York. You, you say, and, hold on, uh, I, I, want to, I want to get to your comparison, though, of South Carolina and New York being similar. In the South Carolina race, you had a whole lot more Republicans in that race, people like Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, among others. Is that really a fair comparison now that it's just a three-way race? Well, I was talking more about it was by congressional districts. So, okay. again, New York is by congressional district, three delegates for each of the 27 congressional districts spread across 62 counties of New York. But uh, clearly out here, Erie County, where I'm a resident, the largest upstate county, uh, home to really both New York 26 and 27. Uh, no, I think Donald Trump will has a very good chance right. to carry all 27 congressional districts, get over 50 percent of the vote, and in doing that, he will sweep all 95 delegates, yeah, that, which is a huge number to push him towards the magic 1237. You know, it would be a huge number not only in terms of the math, but also in terms of the momentum. I'm sure you've huge. seen this. I don't know how many of our viewers have. The front page of the Boston Globe opinion section, if you will. It was a mock front page of what they said could look like in 2017 of the Boston Globe. Deportion, deportations to begin, uh, mocking uh, Donald Trump saying President Trump calls for tripling of ice force riots continue, market sink as trade war looms, all these things that could happen, in their opinion, under a Trump presidency. And they have been widely, uh, from some uh, areas, criticized, other areas ridiculed uh, for what just came out in the Boston Globe today. One of your thoughts to respond. Well, the liberal media doesn't like any part of what Donald Trump's talking about, bringing our jobs back. Uh, making sure we have fair trade, which is something we haven't had in a long while, making sure we deal with the illegal immigrants to get them work papers, not citizenship, so we can handle the need for some of these workers, certainly the farming, the dairy industry, as well as the hotels and restaurants. And we all know Donald Trump's going to stand up to the Ayatollah. He's going to stand up to Putin. He's going to defeat ISIS. And so we're, we have a leader in Donald Trump. Some of these liberal newspapers who, who really lean more towards the Bernie Sanders socialistic outlook of life, of course, they're going to do everything they can to try to uh, paint Donald Trump as uh, someone that Americans should be afraid of, which is just the opposite. He's the leader that uh, can secure our borders and get our jobs back. Very quickly, we only have about 10 or 20 seconds. In some ways, does things like this only help Donald Trump sort of play into his narrative uh, that the media is dishonest, among other things? Oh, there, there's no question, Leland. The supporters of Donald Trump, the more this liberal press or even the Republican establishment,